Hey, what's up guys, Coach Austin here. I'm amidst my training and I wanted to explain the movement I'm doing here. So I'm doing a assisted dip. Uh, so a few different reasons why you could use this movement. One, um, the reason I'm using it today is to allow myself to manage the amount of muscle damage that I'm doing, right? So when we go through any movement, the eccentric and the longer the eccentric gets, the more at risk we are for creating a lot of, not only muscular tension, but a lot of muscular damage throughout that rep, okay, which can lead into uh, issues with my programming coming up, right, leaving me too sore for sessions to come. So I'm in a higher frequency program right now. I really wanted to do the dip and to mitigate some of that muscular damage. What I did was is I'm basically creating a reverse banded dip here. I'm kind of creating that situation or that environment where I can take off a lot of that load from that eccentric, right? So I allow myself to manage that eccentric and allow myself to purely just give myself tension through that concentric range, right? So my foot's taking off load as I go down and then I let off that load and drive through the concentric part of that rep, right? So a few other ways to use this movement. One is gonna be, again, managing that eccentric but the other one is gonna be managing the concentric, right? So if you're learning this movement, one thing that we do know is that we're stronger within that eccentric portion of the rep, right? You can manage to resist and lower more weight than you can technically concentrically load, right? So with this movement, if you are learning it, I was trying to teach my wife this movement and have her go through it, one thing that we did was we allowed ourselves to more or less get that tension in the eccentric, but we also give ourselves a little bit of resistance coming back up. 